Hey guys, it's Bryce Callahan, and I would like to welcome you to another ball video. If you've seen my original Power Torque video, I've decided to try something different by doing a pin up and pin down comparison. Disclaimer, this video is not right off the press. Both of them have about the same amount of games and it took me about two months to figure out the differences. In my testing, I've tried them both on several patterns at college practice to figure out when they work best. The original reason I wanted to make this video was that I felt like my pinout power torque was too strong for most conditions. I had an idea that if maybe I don't know the power torque but with a pin down layout, it would be smoother down lane. Spoiler alert, my conclusions came out different than my hypothesis. When I use the pin down power torque, you'll notice how much smoother the ball is down lane, which causes me to have a light hitch strike. A simple adjustment was to close my angles by squaring up my feet a tad to just keep my angle straighter. It's hard to tell in the video, but I definitely felt like the pin down was hooked a lot earlier, which caused it to transition slower down lane. This video is done on some sports shot that has a decent amount of volume with some friction by the gutter. My ideal break point is eight down lane by the second set of tracers. You'll notice that the pin up one still reads early because of the cover, yet it's still responsive down lane. On most sport patterns, the pin down power torque was a better option when my pin up power torque would go a bit too long. For me, the pin down power torque hooked earlier than the pin up one did. I will admit, I thought that drilling it pin down would cause it to transition slower, when the reality was, the pin down one was using its energy at the front part of the lane, causing it to be smoother down lane. After seeing that results, it made more sense to me why I gravitated towards the pin down power torque when my pin up one wasn't shaping up enough on the heavier volume patterns. I also think it's most important if you talk to your coach or your certified pro shot operator to figure out how to drill your volume balls to best suit your game. It makes me wonder what a longer pin power torque would do. If that's something you guys would like to see, comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the future.